All right, next we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to look at unions and intersections, but this time of sets. Now, we've already done unions and intersections back, back when we were looking at uh, sets. Sorry, right, now we're going to do them with intervals. Uh, when we were looking at sets, we had a set of numbers just, you know, uh, with a certain number of elements, and we were figuring out what they had in common and what they uh, shared. So let's see if we can't do this with uh, intervals. So what I would recommend is anytime you have two sets, so this is basically the numbers from 1 to 4, where 1 and 4 are not included. This is the numbers from 2 to 8, where both 2 and 8 are included. So what I would like to do in a problem like this is I'll actually graph both of those. So we'll say, okay, here's 1 and here's 4. So 1, 4, both of which are not included, and we're going to shade in between. Okay, and then the other one is from 2 to 8, where both of those values are actually included. Okay, and uh, let's see if we can't figure out kind of what's going on in terms of our answer. Uh, on this one, uh, just a little review, this symbol right here means intersection. If you can't remember, it kind of looks like a lowercase n if you just put the little stick on it. So intersection is what we're talking about. So if you imagine this, if you take this and you put these two together, then what would uh, be shaded in both? Okay, well, if you look, you know, from, from one, to four, when you put these together, one's only going to be included in one set. So this, the intersection is only going to start at two, and then after you get past four, it's only red. So it's going to go from two to four. Now, if you notice, two's included in this set, and it's also included in this set, so therefore it would be included in both, where four is only included in one of the sets, so we would have to put that in parentheses. So that would be the intersection of our two sets. Now the union's a little bit different. When we put it together, we're basically talking about what does the what do the two uh, sets encompass when you put them together in all. So when you put this together, now the furthest left this goes is one, and the furthest right it's going to go is eight. Okay. Well, one is not included in either set, but eight is included. So therefore, we will put a bracket around that. Now those are only two sets where you have numbers on e each end, um, but you could also have infinity and that will change your game a little bit, but that will be something you guys can practice on.